What is going on guys? Welcome back to a, another video. In today's video, we're going to be learning how to implement double tap to like. So here I've got this image. If we double tap it, we get the heart showing up very similar to Instagram. Uh, this is pretty common in other apps nowadays as well. TikTok does it. I know LinkedIn just added this too, which I find kind of amusing since it's like a professional app, but we're going to take a look at how to build this how to tweak it uh, to our desired look and feel and all that good stuff. So make sure you destroy that like button as always for the YouTube algorithm. That like button definitely wants to be destroyed again and again. So don't forget to hit it. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel or if you've been following along and haven't subscribed yet. Get ex good ready, get excited. Let's jump right in. Quick pause before we get into the video. If you haven't seen it already, I am hard at work putting together iosacademy.io a community where all of us iOS engineers can come together, learn how to build some of the top apps like Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, in addition to interview prep to land some of these iOS roles at top tech companies. So if you're interested in the free and premium content to come, head on over to iosacademy.io and enter your email address in the waitlist form and you will be notified as content becomes available. That said, let's get into the video. All right, so we're gonna get started by opening up Xcode and creating a new project. We'll stick with a single view application and I'm gonna go ahead and call this app double tap to like. We'll go ahead and save it wherever we want. We'll throw it in this folder I've got here. And once it has loaded up, go ahead and expand your Xcode window before we get into it, pick a simulator as always and hit that run button to get it booted. And we're gonna be working in the view controller for the majority of this video. So go ahead and open that up. Should see our simulator load up. And we're gonna actually bring in an image, not just grab some random image from Google images that we're gonna use as our guinea pig as we build this out. So you actually want to go to your XE assets to start off create a new image set. So we're gonna call this image and go ahead and drag that image in like so. And then we can expand this Xcode window again and get into some of that good code. So let's go back to that view controller and let's start off first and foremost uh, in here by creating a image view. So our image view will actually uh, show the image that we want the double tap to like functionality on. So we'll create an image view and we're gonna create it in an anonymous closure. And this is the way that I generally always do it in all my videos, if you've been following along. We're gonna set a content mode on here. Nope, we're gonna do a content mode scale. Let's put the parentheses here so it gives us the autocomplete and stops being annoying. Uh, we're gonna do scale aspect fit. And we're gonna also give this guy a frame in here. We'll make the 0, 0, 2, 220 by 220. And we're simply going to add this as a sub view to our view controller's view. And then I'm also gonna go ahead and center it in our view as follows. Hit that run button. Uh, you actually won't see it, just kidding, because we didn't set the image on it yet. So in here, let's also set that image that we dragged in. So we're gonna say it's a UI image uh, given a name and we named it image in the XE assets. So once you do that, hit run one more time and we should see our image here. And let me actually make this a little bigger since we still have a little bit of room on the screen. Uh, and actually, instead of even doing it here, let me get rid of my antivirus pop-up. Let's get rid of this here. And let's assign the frame down here so we can reference the entirety of the view controller. So we'll say the frame equals uh, the same C direct stuff, except in here we'll now say, this is view.frame.size.width and same thing here. Hit that run button once more and you should have your image taking up the entire width of the screen uh, and it should be centered. So now we can talk about adding the double tap to like. So it's actually extremely simple. Uh, obviously it looks really nice and it's pretty commonplace in apps like Instagram and TikTok and videos and images. Uh, I think LinkedIn just added it too, surprisingly. Uh, for those of you that didn't know, you can double tap to like a LinkedIn post. 
uh, all we really need to do is add a uh, tap gesture to the target view that we want to pick it up on. So we are going to create a tap gesture here. And it's going to be a UI tap gesture recognizer. We're going to open up the constructor and pass in a target where the action resides. So it'll be self. The uh, action we want on it. So we're going to create that right now before we type it in there. So the action is going to be an objective C exposed uh, private function. And we're going to say did double tap. And this is going to be with a gesture UI tap gesture recognizer. And then over here, we can pass in for the action a selector. And the selector will be did double tap, basically what we just typed in down below. And we want to set some properties on here. So the first thing we want to say is number of taps, uh, number of taps, not touches, number of taps required is two. And then we want to add this gesture to our image view. So we're going to say add gesture recognizer and we want the tap gesture. The other thing you might need to do, depending on what you are trying to add the tap on is enable user interaction. So I don't think we need to do it for the image view in this case, but I'll just do it as good practice just to make it a little more explicit. So now when you double tap anywhere on this image, you will get this uh, function firing. So we will just put a simple uh, print in here and hit command R to run. And when we double tap it, we get that single print. So make sure you have that number of taps assigned to two. If it's one, which is the default, it'll get called two times, which we don't want. But the next thing that we want to do is we want to show that heart wherever the user tapped, maybe centered, and we want it to show and then fade away. So basically what we want to do is get the position of the tap uh, or what we could do in our case is we're going to get the view in which the uh, gesture occurred. So we're going to say guard let view is gesture and we can get the view out of here. And we're going to say if we can't get it because it's optional, we're going to return. And then the workflow we want to do is basically create a heart, add it, show with fade and uh, hide with fade and then remove heart, not remote, remove heart. So we're going to get the heart out of SF symbols, which is Apple's uh, icon uh, library. So we're going to open up SF symbols here and I think they have a heart built in. So we're going to come in here and search for a heart. And the one that we want is, uh, we'll go with this one, heart.fill. So command shift C on this guy to copy the name. And let's work through this workflow. So we're going to say heart is an image view, image view with an image. It'll be a UI image with a system name. And the system name is what we copied. Then we want to give this guy a frame. So what we can now say is the frame of this, uh, looking at the image view here, we can reference a size of this. So let's say we want it to be uh, one fourth the height and the width. We can say the frame is view, well, let's say CG rect. Uh, let's make the zero, zero view. So instead of calling this view, let's call this gesture view so it doesn't conflict with the view controller's view. We can say gesture view dot frame dot size dot width over four. And then we'll pass in the same thing for the height here. And let's see, what else do we want to do? We're going to set the tint color to be explicitly white. And then we're going to say gesture view, add sub view, heart. And uh, after a delay, we are going to animate the heart away. So we're going to say dispatch queue main async after now plus one second. We want to perform an animation. And the animation is going to be UI view animation with duration or animate with duration. Let's say 0 0.5. That's a decent animation length. And the thing we want to animate in here is on this heart, we're going to set its alpha to be zero, which will fade it out. And once that animation completes, we want to get rid of the heart from the super view. So we can say heart. This should take a parameter. We can say if done 
You can see heart remove from super view. So we don't actually fade it in in this case. Let's see what it looks like like this. And then if we need to fade it in, we can also do that before we fade it out. Right now we just add it. And let me also go ahead and center this to the gesture view. And let's hit command R to build and run. And let's see what happens when we double tap. So we double tap and it looks like it shows up, but it's not actually inside of our image view. So that's a problem. It's actually overflowing it. So to get rid of the overflow issue, we're gonna first clip the image view to its bounds. And then the issue that's occurring here is we're getting the, we're basically assigning the center of this to uh, the gesture views center. And the, the issue that it's running into is that the heart is in the coordinate frame of the image view Whereas the gesture view, uh, its dot center is in the coordinate frame of the entire view controller. So instead of doing it this way, we'll do it the more manual way of calculating it. So we know that this is going to be the size of our heart. So let's go ahead and instead of using this as a duplicate, let's create a variable that we can hold it inside of. So we can say let size equals this guy. And then for the X, we can simply say, this is image view, whoops, not image view. We want the gesture view frame size width, subtracting the size over two. And we can actually do the same thing here. You can actually use width again because it's a square, but realistically what you should do in case this is not an even square is you should use the height in this case and hit command R to build and run and let's see what we get. So if we double tap now, you see that the heart sticks in the middle. It stays for a little longer than I think it should, and then it fades away. So let's, uh, let's make this animation one, and let's make the delay 0 0.5. So we'll, uh, we'll see the animation take a little longer, but it'll start animating away faster. So you can uh, basically achieve a tap to like this way. And one other, other thing that I'll do before we wrap this up is uh, let's change this to be system red. We can also change the default alpha to be zero. And I'm gonna wrap this in one more uh, animation to fade it in initially. So we'll say animation with duration 0 0.5. And what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna say heart dot alpha is one. And once it has faded in, uh, we can basically do the next animation which is faded out. You might need to add a delay here, which we'll take a look at in a moment. Double tap, comes in and then fades out. I think that looks a lot nicer. The red is kind of hard to visualize. Let's go back to the white, see what that looks like. So we double tap, get the heart, and then it goes away. So what's kind of weird is we have the delay here. So maybe we don't actually even want the delay because uh, when you double tap, the user should see the heart right away. Otherwise it kind of feels a little misleading uh, part of me is like, wait a second, did I double tap? So you tap it, it shows up, and then it goes away. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how you can add it. The actual last thing I'll say is right now we've hard code centered it, but what you could do is you could get the position of the tap out of the tap gesture, and you can actually show the heart on the image based on where the user tapped. Uh, so it's really dependent on what the design you like. Instagram likes to center things. On TikTok, the heart is wherever the user double tapped. Uh, they also do some cool like rotation with it. So if you guys are interested in learning more about uh, picking up taps and whatnot, do leave a comment down below about it. And uh, that's about it. So if you haven't destroyed that like button already, make sure to do so for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, helps out the channel uh, quite a bit. Helps me make more videos for all of you. And subscribe while you're at it if you're not a subscriber yet. Comment for questions, errors, suggestions. Thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one.